Yeah, man, 2008 went by so fast, huh? Yeah, I know. Alright, I'll, I'll catch you at the New Year's party, dude. Yep, see you later. Man, I can't believe it. It's been two months already and I'm still stuck in 2008. Something about this ThinkPad sent me back in time and I still don't know what it is. It all started when I got this mysterious box in the mail and when I opened it, all it contained was a singular ThinkPad. So naturally, I decided I wanted to use the ThinkPad and of course I had to start by cleaning it since it was incredibly dusty and it looked as if nobody had even touched it since 2008. A bit of elbow grease got it as good as new, and the first thing I wanted to do was try out the keyboard, since, of course, a 2008 ThinkPad must have a really nice keyboard. And, well, the keyboard was as good as I was imagining, so I figured I had to install Linux on it. But a modern distribution wouldn't be fitting for a ThinkPad like this, so I figured I had to go find an old distribution precisely from 2008, since that's when the X200 released. My first thought was Arch, because Arch Linux archives all of its old packages and ISOs, so I figured I could just go get everything I needed, slap it on a USB, and install. But uh, it turns out Arch doesn't actually archive back to 2008. That's a little bit too far back. So I went through the options and I settled on OpenSUSE. ISO from 2008, check. KDE4 from 2008, check. All of the packages that I would need for a basic Linux installation, also check. I installed it, but that's when everything went wrong. When I booted up the system for the first time, everything went black and I woke up here in 2008. That was two months ago now. So yeah, that's about what happened and now I'm stuck here. And the worst part is, Bitcoin isn't even going to be invented for another month. I mean, at least if I could buy a ton of Bitcoin, I'd be rich in the future. And the stock market crashed two months ago and... A time traveling computer virus? Are you serious? I mean, I guess that's not that far-fetched considering I do seem to have time traveled here. I wonder if there's a way to reverse it. Honestly, life hasn't been that bad in 2008 so far. I know I have to get back to the future. I mean, there's so many things that I have to do and people that are probably missing me there right now, but wow, I missed this time. I found my old camcorder earlier, so I decided to start recording. I guess this would make a pretty good YouTube video if I could take it with me back to the future, but I haven't really made any moves to get out of here for the past couple months, so I guess that changes now. I started recording, so you and I can take a look at this ThinkPad and I'll see if I can figure out what sent me back in time. Gosh, KDE4 was pretty sick, huh? I almost wish I could stay here. I mean, the glossy icons, the perfect aspect ratios. I can slap dolphins on everything and nobody blinks an eye. But I have to get back to 2025, so I guess I should start by looking through the applications on this system and see if anything is out of the ordinary. I could look at the files as well, and I mean, it's Linux, so if I can get access to a terminal, I can go from there, and this is KDE, so we should have an application called console that I can boot up and get into a terminal. I got a little bit distracted first though, with some of the desktop widgets, there's a bouncing ball and considering I have my favorite dolphins wallpaper, I can play ball with the dolphin. There's also a built-in CD player, which I can't actually find any of my old CDs, they seem to be missing and uh, I don't know, most of my 2008 stuff is here, but I guess the CDs didn't make it. Anyway, onto my favorite application, KDE Marble, which still exists in the future, but I mean, it's not the same. Spinning around this virtual globe reminded me exactly what I miss so much about this time. The internet used to be so wonderful and magical. It was such an experience to realize that you could communicate with anybody from anywhere around the world. But in 2025, it's normal and boring because- Oh, uh, did you see that? I don't know what that was. I'm just gonna keep talking. There's also so many drawing programs, which I guess there's even more of those available in 2025, but it was different, okay? It was different. And I'm so glad to be able to be back here and experience all of this for what feels like the first time again, because it's just me in this era, and I guess some strange computer virus that I'm gonna have to figure out, but that can wait. This desktop environment feels like the end of its era. I mean, I guess you could say the era was really over when the iPhone came out. That would have been a year ago now, right? 
It feels like there was so much effort put into making everything just a little extra special for the user. And even though I guess by in 2025 we'll be further along in terms of development of software and UI choices and such, it feels like a lot of programs are missing that extra touch. Okay, that was definitely weird. Let me start looking for that computer virus. All the applications on this system seem pretty normal, so I booted up Dolphin to start looking through the files. And that was when I found something kind of strange. I started by checking through all of the various subfolders in my user's home directory, and then I started looking through the system directories. I even searched for a virus and nothing came up, but then I went to access roots directory and I had to go ahead and verify with my very long and complicated password. And I was in. And I found this. What is this? This isn't supposed to be here. Some random shell script called traveler.sh. So I tried to run it and that didn't do anything. And then I tried to see what kind of file it was and cat it out, but it seems like it's super corrupted. So I'm gonna delete it. Ow, what the heck? The virus is laughing at me. Is this some sentient computer? Um, hello? It knows my name? I, I guess that is my user account. Why is it doing this? I just want to get back to the future and I don't know why it sent me here. The, the wonder is there as it is here? Wait, it calls me a friend? Is it a dolphin? Oh my gosh, it is. I guess I should accept what it says so I can go back to the future. Has it been that easy this whole time? Because I thought this would end at, and I'm sorry, Brad, I'm afraid I can't do that. I accept. It's shutting down. I rebooted the ThinkPad and it, it let me delete the virus instantly. It feels like it's sending me back. The ThinkPad came back with me, but it seems like everything returned to normal, and I almost missed the dolphin. By the way, I never went to that New Year's party. Oh, my camcorder is here though, so I can post this.